Right, well, okay, right. I've been messing around with the um, Nuda's um, thermostat or the airbox temperature sensor. Um, I don't think it's correct, and also um, it has been talked about that it, it can make your engine um, run a bit lean. So there's been various things. I've actually created um, an adjustable one so that it can uh, fool the ECU to have a cooler temperature than it actually is and hopefully get uh, a little bit richer mixture and that. But anyway, I thought I'd just have a little mess around with, I've got a couple of ideas. Now, if I just switch the bike on, if I switch the bike on, and of course there's, there's nothing plugged in at the moment. The bike's not been run, so it's at uh, room temperature, if you like to call it that, or ambient temperature. But um, there's nothing plugged now. Now, if you put the original one in, uh, we're getting a reading now of 18 and a half. Uh, degree C. Now I know because I've got a thermostat here and I don't know if you can actually read that but I can read it it should be somewhere about 15 16 degrees in here according to that temperature it's just a very cheap cheap one but basically that's about 16 17. Now then if I, I got one from another car I don't know what car it is but I just picked it up some point and if I put this one on um, the temperature is now showing 42 and a half degrees. So obviously that's a, a complete waste of time in so much as um, it's actually showing that it's hotter. Um, so it's a different value, this thermostor or thermostat. Now then, I've made my own up. Now what I've done, I've had a few of, I bought a few of these a while back and these are um, therm thermostors or the misters and they're 20k ohms so i thought i'll put four together here so you got four there and i've um wired it into a you know, a, a male i think i don't know what they call connection but then click it on there we go so now it's showing uh, 16 and a half degrees C and I think that's correct because according to my thermostat my uh, room thermostat it's about 16 and a half degrees so I think that's correct um, now what I'm going to do instead of having this running in the air box I'm going to have this running outside so it's a bit like the um, boost plug um, they use a combination of of two they use the combination of that one but basically i'm just going to run it outside the air box so it gets clean air and just to see if it if it is correcting the fueling as well so i'll know that by how many miles per gallon i'm doing and and also how the bike feels if it's running a bit too lean because one of the things is when you stop the bike for any period after you've been running it the air box gets so hot and doesn't cool down straight away so it does feel like everything's running fairly lean so what i'm going to do is plug the original one back in and then um leave that um leave that you know disconnected and have this connected and run that down there and uh, just see how it goes from that so i thought i'd just uh, do a little video to see what the initial um, setup is, or just to show what the initial setup is, and then go from there. But I do do think that um, th this putting four together as well, um, because of 20 ohms, it works the other way around. So putting two together would make 10 ohms, putting four together makes 2.5 ohms, K ohms, should I say. Um, so... Anyway, we'll go like that. Now, also to test it, see if it, it's variable. If I hold the end there, you can see the temperature's rising. It's now going up to 21.5 degrees C, 22.5 degrees C. So it does work. 
uh, 24 degrees C. And um, obviously you can do the same same thing with the um, BMW one. I can just yeah, that's the BMW one on. It's 19 degrees C. Hold it in my hand. It's 21 degrees C now. And 22 and a half. And 24. There you are. So, we'll give that a go and see what happens.